Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to discuss about Skype Ads or Skype Tokens real world use cases. This is Puch Raslan, Crypto Education is my passion guys. I am not a financial advisor and this is definitely not financial advice. Please ensure that you go ahead and check out my crypto wisdom playlist for knowing more about the generic concepts of crypto if you are new to it or you want to learn more about it in general. Thank you so much for all the subscribers and the viewers till now for all your support and love. I would definitely love to see more subscribers added up to my channel. So if you're still not subscribed to my channel and you're watching it, please hit the like button. That's the only support that I expect from your end. So let's head over to what Skypath's actual real world use cases would be. Now, as you can see on the screen, this is also there in the white paper. I'll just briefly go ahead with what are the problems and what are the solutions that are given out by the Skypath security team. Now, here it's just five problems that are listed, but that's not all guys. If you look at it in one way, then these particular applications would be enabling a lot more opportunities for use cases in the real world. So the first problem that they are quoting over here is related to the assessments being done manually. Now this would have assessment gaps, inefficiencies and inaccuracies along with it. Because why? Since it's done manually, it's prone to human errors as well. So what is Sky actually trying to do as a solution over here is to digitize the entire approach. So you can go ahead and do the threat assessment for any of the buildings through mobile devices as well. So that's pretty simple and straightforward and probably would definitely lead to a lot more accurate information being collected. Now moving on to the second problem that they have quoted is especially when it comes to first responders and they need to go ahead and dive into the risk to those dangerous situations it mainly uh, becomes a little bit complicated for them to go ahead and do so without proper blueprints now all the blueprints that are essentially given or probably they have or in the government records as well most of the times would be older ones what if there was a recent renovation that has happened in the building just two to three months before now these things will definitely not be recorded in the blueprints and that would pose as a problem for them because earlier when the blueprint says there is a room, now there, is, there might be a hallway. Now that, those internal changes will definitely be a bit of a complication especially when time plays a very vital role. Now Skypath is planning to use some of the cutting edge technologies that are there in 3D and 2D modeling especially with panoramic photography as well so having these concepts of 2d and 3d modeling done for a specific building or a specific location that would definitely help in a much much better and efficient way for first responders to plan their rescue operations or even evacuate people in terms of natural calamities now moving on to the third problem what is it that they quote is the safety of individuals in an active threat situation is actually paramount the lack of communication between the first responders and individuals involved in real time can lead to additional loss of life now time saves life especially true because all the first responders that are out there and the rescue operation planners they definitely have to fight against time to go ahead and save the people's lives now in those situations if in case i had the real time information being provided as to say 10 people are locked in a specific room or a specific area of a building i can concentrate all my efforts on that specific area of the building rather than going door to uh, room to room or even door to door in certain localities depending on the natural calamity or the threat that is out there and that would definitely essentially save a lot of time and effort now moving on to the fourth problem in the event of an active threat crisis the receipt of timely and accurate data and information is imperative kind of adds up to the previous topic or the previous point of the problem but in here in most situations first responders do not have real-time information and intelligence having accurate information or data and plans will save lives and time as well now the mobilized platform will allow the process to start sooner once certified skypath buildings are linked to first responders now what is it that is actually having to do this is more towards the first responders perspective the previous point was more towards the individuals who are stuck to those kind of use cases wherein they can communicate to the first responders but this particular point deals more with the first responders having an access early to those uh, buildings or the building plans or even devices which are actually inside that particular building that would be giving them a lot more time and an efficient way to organize their rescue missions or operations. This is really nice and very much needed in terms of the real world scenarios guys because as far as we have seen it is a big struggle against time as well as it takes a lot of effort in terms of currently handling such scenarios of natural calamities or threats. Now these four problems that we discussed were more towards either an individual who is involved in a threat situation or a scenario or 
the first responders now the fifth problem that they are quoting is actually for the people behind the management of those buildings either private or public problem 5 states that due to the upward trending growth in active threats public buildings are finding the need to carry active threat insurance due to increased liability in the loss of life or injury now what is the solution that skypath is planning to give Having a certified threat assessment done by Skypath Security will benefit the insured by helping reduce insurance premiums provided by insurance companies. Now, this reduction in premiums could potentially cover the cost of installation and implementation of mobile defense platforms. Now, this is really nice and cool in my honest opinion, guys. The main reason here being this would also mean that Sky is not limiting itself as a cryptocurrency project. It's also going to go ahead and have partnerships, probably potential partnerships with insurance companies too. That opens up a whole new door or of opportunity in fact because it not only are you targeting the investors or the end clients who would use your security systems but you might also have tie-ups with these insurance companies which can be an added package so any such insurance company who is providing an insurance to uh, certain other private buildings or public buildings out there they can also tag along with skypath as a threat assessment firm the, based on their threat assessment rating the insurance premium can be decided either low or high again depending entirely on the certification so this is a really nice concept i think it would just take a matter of time as to when this could happen that's what i am personally thinking of all we have to do is sit back wait and then watch as to how this project would go ahead and spread out its wings and fly thank you so much for watching guys that's it for this video and if you have still not joined the uh, sky telegram group or the discord group i'll leave the links for them in the description box below you can go ahead and join and if you're still not subscribed to my channel like i said please hit the subscribe button and like this video so that the youtube algorithm goes ahead and suggest this to much more people and they all can get to know about sky token thank you so much guys have fun and take care